so up to this we covered what is hash set what are various properties and so on now the next implementation class of set interface linked hash set we have to discuss about linked linked hash set the first point about this linked hash set it is child class of hash set are you getting right so this one is the child child class of hash set so linked hash set is the child child class of hash set first one and uh, in which version this one came okay it is the child class of linked hash set and in which version this linked hash set came 1.4 version right next uh, what is the difference between hash set and a linked hash set or when we should go for linked hash set very simple sometimes our programming requirement is i want to represent a group of individual objects where duplicates are not allowed duplicates are not allowed but insertion order must be preserved in which order we saved in which order we inserted in the same order only the object should be saved internally or the object should be stored internally so duplicates are not allowed but insertion order must be preserved then we should go for linked hash set if anyone is going to ask what is the difference between hash set and linked hash set don't tell sir linked is the difference okay linked there is a meaning is there there is a functionality difference is there so linked hash set exactly same as hash set except this is a small difference what is the difference in hash set insertion order not preserved but in linked hash set insertion order preserved now observe this one hash set next uh, linked hash set what is the difference between these two things right now the first point the underlying data structure for hash set is hash table have you remembered we covered hash table right but the underlying data structure for linked hash set is have you observed linked hash set it is a combination of hash table plus a linked list hash table plus a linked list that's why the word linked linked hash set the underlying data structure is a hybrid data structure we are using hash table and linked list type right? now insertion order preserved or not preserved insertion order not preserved not not preserved insertion order not preserved what what about insertion order insertion order preserved is an athi but insertion order preserved third one hash set introduced in which version 1.2 version right but uh, linked hash set introduced in 1.4 version right i hope you people aware okay this is so hash set linked hash set what is the difference every property is exactly same except this is a small difference right a small variation of hash set is nothing but linked hash set right so first take up to this and then i will go for a small program so except this hash set and linked hash set there is no other difference right this is the only major important difference i don't want to duplicates but order is required then we should go for what linked hash set right okay now let me convert this one into an executable form now just observe this here just a value i'm taking normal hash set okay b c d z null 10 normal normal hash set can you tell in normal hash set duplic duplicates are not allowed insertion order preserved or not preserved not preserved now if i compile and run this code what is the output by default i will get null null d b c 10 z here but our insertion order b c d z but the output is coming null d b c 10 z now i don't want to take hash set instead of hash set 
let me take link or hash asset which is equal to new link or hash asset asset linked asset which is equal to new link or hash asset now observe this what is the output by default we are going to get have you observed in which order we inserted na b c d z null 10 in the same order by default will be there the output we are getting so if you want insertion order then better to go for what the linked asset if you don't want order but duplicates are not allowed then better to go for normal hash set this is the exact difference between linked hash set and a hash set right are you able to understand it but uh, here one small important loophole is there okay what is the what is the where we can use linked hash set concept properly is nothing but there is one area where we can use a linked hash set concept okay best best example i hope you people may aware cache based applications cache cache based applications right cache in our academics we may aware cache memory secondary memory like primary memory okay is what primary memory is nothing but what ram right primary memory ram secondary memory is nothing but which one hard disk secondary memory hard disk ram or rom like this the speed of ram hard disk speed is nothing but there is a big difference which one is the very faster primary memory but this one is nothing but not up to the mark that's why to to balance that performance different speed in the middle we may use what uh, cache memory right cache memory in the cache duplicates are not allowed duplicate calculations we should not store second thing order is important in which order we saved in the same order only internally the data should be saved so repeated results repeated code we are going to keep inside cache every time my primary memory is going to communicate with cache instead of secondary memory for repeated calculations right that's why performance will be improved okay this is i'm not talking about purely what is cache how it is going to work simple terminology if you want to develop cache based application duplicates are not allowed but insertion order must be preserved in which order we saved in the same order only internally should be saved this type of requirement who is going to fulfill is linked hash set are you getting linked hash set is the best choice to develop cache based application because duplicates are not allowed insertion order must be preserved these two properties satisfied by linked hash set right is it clear for all of you right okay take a note okay that's all this is about the small difference between hash set and linked hash set right is it clear for all of you right okay that's all